In the Ramayana, it is Jambavan who helps Hanuman know his capabilities, know his true potential and encourages Hanuman to jump across the ocean towards Lanka in search of Mother Sita. Now some of us may have a Jambavan in our life who will encourage us, help us know our potential and help us grow. However, many of us may not have that Jambavan who may know ourselves better than we know ourselves. For all of us, whether we have a Jambavan or not, the journey of knowing ourselves helps us to grow ourselves in tremendous ways. When we understand ourselves, when we understand our relational style, when we understand our stress handling capabilities, we understand how we deal with challenges. When we understand our management styles, our ability to delegate, our ability to have many relationships or few relationships, our being an aggressive manager or a laid back manager, and our parenting style, our style to deal with the community. When we have a deep awareness of our own selves, and how we respond to different situations on call of duty, it helps us in various ways. One thing is when we know ourselves, an outcome of that is we learn how to accept ourselves with all our goods and all the bads. And when we accept ourselves, we also understand what we are capable of doing and what we are not so capable of doing, but we can grow we can learn, we can polish our rough edges and grow so that we can increase our capacity to do things. We understand what is making us go so wrong in relationships or what is it that we're doing right in relationships. So it helps us solve a lot of different problems. And the deeper we understand our own natures, the deeper we are able to understand other people and develop compassion for them. Now, there are various methods for all of us to know ourselves. Uh, there are many Western psychometric tests and there are many traditional medicine systems like the Yunani medicine system, Chinese medicine system and the Indian system of Ayurveda that really help you go deep in a very systematic way to understand your physical nature and your emotional nature and the way in which you think. So you can take support of these things. Astrology helps us know ourselves. Uh, the three guna theory, the three modes of material nature, that theory from the Bhagavad Gita helps us know ourselves. So when we know ourselves and we take shelter of these different uh, methods, we also find ways to grow ourselves, make a plan to move forward, make a plan to polish these rough edges so that the ever elusive success in our life, we can achieve it or have beautiful relationships and so many other things. Now, knowing ourselves doesn't just help us in our relationships, family, workplace, success, all of these things, but it is a very, very important component in our spiritual growth. When we understand our nature very deeply, what we're really understanding is the conditioning that is covering our soul. The conditioning that is becoming an obstacle to our soul's journey of expressing itself fully in relation to the Lord. So when we understand ourselves, we understand our conditioning, we understand how to come out of this conditioning, how to come out of these debilitating patterns and these debilitating processes that run in our mind that shrink us spiritually. So this self-awareness helps us break free from that conditioning and express ourselves in full glory in service to our beloved lords just like Hanuman expressed himself fully with his full potential in service to Lord Ram. So I welcome you all in moving forward in your journey of doing yourself, accepting yourself, 
transforming yourself, breaking free from yourself, and fully expressing yourself in service to yourself, your community, society, and the Lord himself. Thank you.